Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is a new Smash-like fighting game that's got a lot of attention due to the game mechanics and how closely the community could interact with the developers to solve problems. This coupled with the fact that Nintendo had just announced the final Smash character had moved all the attention to All-Star Brawl. But I'm not here to talk about all that. I wanted to discuss if it is possible to get all the All-Star Brawl characters in Funko Pop form. Smash has Amiibos to represent the character roster, so why can't Funko Pops represent Nickelodeons? I'm gonna go through the roster and talk about each character and the options that you'd have to have them in Funko Pop form. SpongeBob. Let's start off with SpongeBob. And of course, Funko has made SpongeBob Funko Pops. I actually think SpongeBob is the most pops out of all characters combined. There's so many options. If you want SpongeBob lifting weights, you have that. If you want SpongeBob as a 10 inch figure and he towers over the rest of your characters, you have that. And if you want SpongeBob to do his up special, well, you best believe there's three different variations. But in my opinion, the original SpongeBob Funko Pop looks the best. He does have a price tag of $55, so he is worth a pretty penny. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, you can get the SpongeBob with Purpose Funko Pop coming out later this year that just has a basic SpongeBob holding a jellyfish net. Patrick. On to the second character in the roster, Patrick Star. Just like SpongeBob, we have multiple Patrick Stars to choose from, just not as many. And when it comes down to it, I think only one of them fits the aesthetic of All-Star Brawl, and that's the 2019 Patrick with the wooden board stuck to his head. You know, it works for me. I know I said that you can't beat the classics, but look Bruh. at the original Patrick Funko Pop. It looks like a whole different kind of toy brand. And with the other Patrick being only $15, your waltz will thank you for it. Sandy. Now let's get to Sandy. If you were thinking that you could settle with the cheapest alternative Funko Pops to make your own roster, here's where I'm gonna have to break some bad news to you. Funko has only released one Sandy Cheek Funko Pop ever, and it was with the original SpongeBob Wave in 2013, and her price has skyrocketed. She's just shy of $300 at $270. Now, when Funko releases pops like this, the most popular characters are normally the cheapest, and the characters people don't really pick up normally raise in price to this extent. Because let's face it, Unless you were buying the entire wave of the Spongebob Funkos, you probably only got a Spongebob, a Patrick, maybe a Squidward, and that's why she's so expensive. But Spongebob is a very popular franchise, and I could see them making a Sandy in the future. Hey. With the popularity of Avatar The Last Airbender coming out in the last year, you know that Funko jumped on that train, and boy did they deliver. We have Aang in Avatar State, and the Target exclusive glow-in-the-dark version, Aang on Air Scooter with the Chase glow-in-the-dark version, Aang Spirit that glows in the- okay, you get it. Aang pops glow in the dark. But I personally enjoy the Aang and Momo pop that came out a few years ago, since it doesn't have a whole lot going on, which helps it fit in with the rest of the characters on the roster. And for 20 bucks, it, you can't beat it compared to the Avatar State, which has a $40 price tag. Oh. Top only has one Funko pop at the moment. It's not terrible. It's not great. You can still get it for retail, so she helps add a character to the board. As for Korra, we have two options, well, technically three. We have the Hot Topic Korra that came out last year that has a chase variant, which is, of course, a glow in the dark. But I really like the Korra that came out a few years ago with the elements flowing behind her. Plus, she's just above retail at $18, so you can get her for a pretty good price. Zim. So, Zim. Zim is definitely a super popular character in pop culture, and of course has many Funko Pops made of him but I don't think any of them look that great. Some characters just don't transfer over very well to pop form, and I think that Zim is one of those styles. There's just something about the square head that I don't like. It doesn't sit right with me. Here are the prizes and the pops. If I had to choose one, the winking one with the mini moose is probably the one I'd go with, but any of them could work since none of them work, if that makes any sense. Lincoln Love. Lucy Love. Now to the first character without a Funko Pop, or should I say characters? Yes, as of right now, we don't have a Lincoln or Lucy Loud Funko Pop, which means that you can't have the entire cast of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawls in Funko Pops. However, The Loud House, which is the show where both of those characters are from, is one of the go-to shows on Nickelodeon, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Funko Pop characters were coming out in the future. Leonardo! Michelangelo! Leonardo and Michelangelo have basically the exact same exclusives and many different Funko Pops from a thousand piece $700 Comic-Con metallic grail 
to a pixel Lego that you can get for retail. I think the OG Pops look the best. They're both around $50, $55 a piece, but I believe they are the best looking Pops with the cartoon look that they give off. It really fits the game's aesthetic. The alternative Pops are far cheaper but resemble the live action Turtles more than the cartoon ones in my opinion. But if you don't mind that, the new wave of 2021 TMNT Pops that are coming out can still be found on shelves for retail. As for April O'Neil, it's a pretty easy choice. The new updated model looks, he leaps and bounds better than the original April and still holds an $18 price tag. But if you like the OG Funko Pop look, the old mold costs about $65 as of right now, so it's all up to personal taste, but I believe that the new April fits the roster a lot better. Despite being fairly old pops from 2016, you can get your hands on both Ren and Stimpy for pretty cheap. Stimpy is a bit pricey at $25, but you can get Ren for $15 if you shop around on eBay. They have chases where they're black and white spots that some people could use to bling out their roster if they wanted. But there's a grail for Ren and Stimpy if you're going to try to do that. The Happy Happy Joy Joy 2 pack is about $150 right now. So that would be what they are going for. But in my opinion, the commons are just fine. Powdered Toast Man. So if I would have made this list a few months ago, Powdered Toast Man would have been another pop that you couldn't have on the roster. But thankfully, coming in the near future to GameStop, PTM is coming out. So make sure to keep an eye out to get them on retail. Capital. Y'all want your cat dog regular or flocked? The regular is $20, the flocked is $40 more. Regular is fine, but flocked should never be considered if you're attempting to make the roster out of box. Fingerprint indentations on your pops will make you sad for paying extra. Reptar. As far as Reptar goes, the chase is purple, there's one eating some food, and there's a glow in the dark one. But I would recommend the common Reptar. And he's only $10, so you can't beat that price. Nigel Thornberry. Nigel Thornberry is one of the best deals so far. Even though he's only got one pot made of him, he sits below retail at $9. And I think that deal is smashing. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Helga. It looks like Nigel isn't the only one, though. Following its trend, Helga is the same treatment, one pop, and below retail price at about $9. Well, now that we saved some money on those bargain bin characters, I need to talk about Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom is in the same boat as Nigel and Helga, that he's only had one pop made of him. However, the pop itself is a Comic-Con exclusive from last year, sitting around $55. Now, Danny Phantom is a popular Nickelodeon show and could easily have a whole line come out tomorrow, drop the price of the exclusive. But if it hasn't happened and it still doesn't happen, I can see this jumping up in price super, super high. I think this is one of those cases where you can let FOMO take over and just grab it just in case. Oh, clean up. Oblina is the final character to end the roster, and she does in fact have a Funko Pop. It came out in 2017 and is sitting at $15. However, she has been vaulted, meaning she will never be printed again. Well, at least that figure. She could be holding a candy bar in her hand, and they'd say that is a whole new figure and print it. But I don't think Ah Real Monsters is really a popular enough show for them to do it, so she might be a good pickup sooner than later. So, how do we do? 18 playable characters in Nickelodeon All-Stars, and we have 16 of them in Funko Pop form. So yeah, I do think that if you wanted to make the character select screen, you could do a pretty good job. And the other two non-pop figures will probably pop in the future, because let's face it, if it exists, there will be a Funko Pop of it. Well, if you like this video, you should uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what your roster would look like and if you've done this in person already. That's it for me today. We TCG out.